you're feeling a little sleepy so you put on your pjs and hop into bed but you're not quite ready to disconnect from the world so you reach for your phone you surf a little update your status on facebook and watch a video clip you find in your yoga whatsapp group then you turn off the lights expecting the sleeping fairy to pay you a visit but uh, instead of sweet dreams interspersed by the occasional nightmare you just toss and turn for hours you're sleepless in put in your hometown blame the phone current mobile devices retro illuminate using led light officially the light is white but it's composed of a considerable amount of blue light and blue light lights us up the reason the wavelength of light which we see as blue hits more than just the traditional photoreceptors that is the rods and cones it also hits another group of photosensors embedded in the eye they're called the intrinsically photosensible retinal ganglion cells or IPRGCs for short. Their job is to scare, uh, uh, no, I mean suppress, the secretion of melatonin, your night ballet. Powering down a system as complex as the human body is a mammoth undertaking because to make the transition you need to switch up your energy procurement system. During the day supplies trickle in at regular intervals but at night all energy needs must be met from within. This requires a completely different set of enzymes. From start to finish, it takes a couple of hours to make the adjustments, so you're ready for bed. Melatonin is the soft-spoken, somewhat shy hormone tasked with this undertaking. Under normal circumstances, as the shadows grow longer and the light begins to fade, the level of blue light drops and red light begins to dominate. This change in light is the signal that it's time for your night valet to come on duty. He slowly emerges from the pineal gland, draws the curtains and pops a mint on your pillow. So when your head hits the pillow, you're off to dreamland. Unfortunately, Gazing at your electronic device in the moments before bed sends melatonin scurrying into the pineal gland. Your valet is a technophobe. The bright lights and flashing screens scare him off. The effect is mediated by the blue light hitting those IPRGCs. No worries. Just dim the phone. This is what the manufacturers of mobile devices tell you to do. And to help you do this, most include blue light blocking features as part of the package. All you have to do is to remember to power your mobile device down when you hop into bed. Problem solved, right? Well, a group of researchers based in Spain decided to put the built-in dimmer switches of several makes of phone to the test. Join us for this episode of Better Body Chemistry TV as we unpack how well your phone's blue blocker works. Better Body Chemistry TV is brought to you by Dr. Sandy, a scientist turned gremlin buster helping you battle sugar gremlins, heffalumps and other health horribles through better body chemistry. Remember, small things can make a big difference to your health. Since there are differences between the screen technologies and software options, our team looked at several different phones. Step one in their analysis was to measure the spectrum of light each phone was emitting. This was done by popping the phone in front of a spectrograph with and without the blue light blocking software activated. They experimented with built-in software as well as the Twilight app. This is one of several apps available from Google Play, offering blue light control with the intention of attenuating melatonin suppression. Each phone had its own idiosyncrasies, but in all cases, the software delivered on its promise to tone down the blue. Here are the spectra for two of the phones tested. 
the bump between 400 and 500 nanometers corresponds with the blue light wavelength. The first uses the Twilight app. The second is using built-in software. In each case, the software was able to flatten the curve. The team noted, sometimes to the point where the phone view was a little bizarre, making it rather unpleasant to view things in the blue light protected state. Here is the data showing the extent to which the different wavelengths of light were decreased by the software. Yay! It works! But is it enough to actually make a difference? Next, the team recorded the lunchtime spectrum for a typical summer's day in Madrid. This is the kind of lighting which would see you bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. That is, your night valet would be in hiding. They used this as ground zero to set the melatonin suppression action spectrum. And then they ran the numbers on the phone spectrum to determine how effective they'd been at attenuating the melatonin suppression. The performance of the phones varied, and the level of melatonin suppression is always going to vary according to the duration of time of light exposure and the spectrum of received light. But even when the dimmer was set on maximum, the phones still suppressed melatonin. In fact, when the software reduced the amount of blue light by 30%, it reduced the melatonin suppression index only by 11%. So what does this mean in practice? In a scenario where melatonin would be suppressed after 60 minutes, when the software was not deployed, using the software would shift the point of suppression to one hour and six minutes. Yes, you get an extra six minutes. The software makes the phone less bright, but you're still bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. The suppression of the blue light is not enough to put melatonin at ease. Despite deploying the dimmer switch, he will still freak out and hide in the cupboard, leaving you sleepless in. Your phone is a lethal weapon to your night valet. Embrace it. Technology has allowed you to take your phone to bed, but just because you can doesn't mean you should. Power down your device an hour or so before bed so you create better body chemistry through better sleep. Interested in discovering more ways to create better body chemistry or need a little help getting your body chemistry on track? Visit our website at www betterbodychemistry.com. Browse our library or enroll in one of our courses or programs. The advice is simple to follow and based on real science, not hype. Know someone who loves to take their phone to bed with them? Share this video with them so they realize the dimmer switch is not a license to surf in bed. And if this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you catch future episodes of Better Body Chemistry TV. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Remember, small things can make a big difference to your health.